Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to explore the machine learning algorithms and concepts that you need to know. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced practitioner, this video will provide you with valuable insights. But before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of videos. Let's get started. Linear regression. Linear regression is a popular supervised learning algorithm used for predicting continuous values. It aims to find the best fit line that minimizes the sum of squared errors between the predicted and actual values. By analyzing the relationship between the input variables, features, and the output variable, linear regression can make accurate predictions. The algorithm assumes a linear relationship between the input and output variables, making it simple and easy to interpret. It is widely used in various fields, such as finance, economics, and social sciences, to analyze trends, make forecasts, and understand the impact of different variables on the outcome of interest. Decision trees. Decision trees are adaptable supervised learning algorithms that make decisions using a tree-like model. Each internal node is a feature or attribute, and each leaf node is a class label or a decision. Decision trees are simple to understand and can deal with both category and numerical data. They partition the data recursively based on the specified features, attempting to maximize information gain or decrease impurity at each step. This technique is frequently utilized in a variety of sectors, including banking, healthcare, and marketing, for classification, regression, and anomaly detection. Decision trees can handle complex datasets efficiently and provide insights into the decision-making process. Random forests. Random forests are powerful and simple learning algorithms that produce predictions by combining many decision trees. Each decision tree in a forest is trained on a different subset of the data, and the final prediction is formed by aggregating all of the tree's predictions. Random forests are well known for their robustness and capacity to handle large amounts of data. They are commonly employed in domains such as fraud detection, medical diagnosis, and recommendation systems since they can handle both classification and regression problems. When compared to individual decision trees, random forests improve accuracy and help prevent overfitting. Support Vector Machines Support vector machines are strong supervised learning algorithms that can be utilized for classification and regression applications. The best hyperplane that separates data points of distinct classes with the greatest margin is found by support vector machines. Its goal is to reduce the distance between the decision boundary and the nearest data points as much as possible. Through the use of kernel functions, support vector machines are capable of managing both linear and nonlinear relationships in high-dimensional data. They are commonly used in image classification, text classification, and bioinformatics. Even with insufficient training data, support vector machines deliver robust and reliable predictions. K-means clustering. K-means clustering is an unsupervised learning technique that divides data into K clusters based on similarities. It seeks to reduce the distance between data points within each cluster. Customer segmentation, image compression, and anomaly detection all make extensive use of k-means clustering. The algorithm distributes data points to the closest centroid iteratively and updates the centroids depending on the mean of the assigned points. K-means clustering is scalable and efficient, making it suited for huge datasets. However, it requires a predetermined number of clusters, K, and can be sensitive to initial centroid location. Principal Component Analysis Principal Component Analysis is a dimensionality reduction technique used to transform high-dimensional data into a lower-dimensional space while preserving the most important information. It identifies the directions along which the data varies the most. By projecting the data onto these components, Principal component analysis helps visualize and understand complex datasets. It is commonly used in areas such as image recognition, gene expression analysis, and data compression. Principal component analysis reduces the dimensionality of the data, making it easier to analyze and visualize while retaining as much information as possible. Recurrent neural networks. Recurrent neural networks are a form of neural network that uses feedback connections to handle sequential data. Recurrent neural networks contain a memory component that allows them to store knowledge from past inputs 
making them appropriate for jobs with temporal dependencies, natural language processing, speech recognition, and time series analysis are all frequent applications. Recurrent neural networks are capable of capturing long-term dependencies and dealing with variable length input sequences. However, they are susceptible to the vanishing or exploding gradient problem, which has an impact on the training process. To address these concerns, convolutional neural networks. Convolutional neural networks are specialized neural networks that are designed to analyze grid-like input, such as pictures. Convolutional layers are used to extract features from input data and capture spatial correlations. Convolutional neural networks are frequently utilized in computer vision applications such as object detection, classification, and segmentation. Convolutional neural networks can efficiently learn hierarchical representations of visual data by leveraging shared weights and local receptive fields. They have transformed the field of computer vision, reaching cutting-edge performance in a variety of tasks and enabling improvements in fields such as autonomous driving, medical imaging, and facial identification. Reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning where an agent learns to interact with an environment and maximize cumulative rewards. The agent takes actions in the environment, receives feedback in the form of rewards or penalties, and learns to make better decisions over time. Reinforcement learning is used in robotics, game playing, and autonomous vehicle navigation. It enables the agent to learn optimal policies through trial and error, exploring different actions and learning from the consequences. Reinforcement learning algorithms, such as Q-learning and policy gradients, have been successful in solving complex problems and achieving human-level performance in various domains. Deep learning. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning that focuses on multi-layered artificial neural networks. It has transformed fields like as computer vision, natural language processing, and speech recognition. Deep neural networks can learn hierarchical data representations automatically, allowing them to handle complicated issues. Deep learning algorithms may extract subtle patterns and generate accurate predictions by utilizing enormous amounts of data and processing power. Deep learning has been utilized to build self-driving cars, realistic speech synthesis, and state-of-the-art picture recognition capabilities, among many other uses. Because of its ability to handle unstructured data and learn from raw inputs, it is a valuable tool in the age of big data. That concludes our machine learning methods and concepts. I hope you found this video useful and helpful. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. Keep exploring and developing your knowledge until next time.